Hello. Today we are going to talk about quite interesting topic. Today I will um, tell you about animations in Unity. How to create animations, to edit and so on. Let's start by uh, selecting our prefab with buildings. And let's say I want this building to animate. I want it to do something like this over the time. And possibly let's make this one to jump. First of all, we have to select their parent, block 3, select it. To start animating, we have to bring in the animations window. To do that, go to Window menu and select Animation. Also here you will see the shortcut. I believe for Windows it will be Ctrl-6 and for Mac it is Command-6. Window will appear and let's place it somewhere comfortable. So I prefer to keep it at the bottom of the screen because this way I have a little bit of screen space to work with. First of all, you will see that here we have this message saying that to begin animating, create an animator and animation clip. So let's just hit create. And now we have to actually save an animation file. This is our assets folder. And uh, here are our materials, prefabs, textures, and so on folders. Let's create one for animations. Let's call it a uh, happy block. Done. What have changed? First of all, we have not used this yet, but still they turn red. That means that we are now in recording mode. Also, if you look here, this little record button is pressed now which means that we are ready to record animation. Here is our timeline and this shows us seconds. So this is 000. It means the very beginning and this is one second. Let's say we want to make our building to compress like every second. To do that we select it. This is very tall building here and then we move, let's say, half of a second here, and then we switch to scale. Scale it down to about 3. And as soon as we press, we start changing this value, you will see that scale suddenly got this pink or like dirty pink color, which means they are now animated. Also, if you look here, we got very tall building scale property here. And also we've got this uh, rhombus at 000 and 030. Unity created a keyframes for us because we moved play hat to the half of second and then changed value. So Unity took default value of 6 and then changed it to 3 over time. If we play the animation, you will see that our building is compressing now. So let's bring it to 1 second and switch it back to 6. This way, if we hit play here, you will see that our building is like compressing and expanding infinitely. Because by default this animation is playing in loop. What else have changed? If we untick this record button and go to block, you will notice that now we have this animator component. If I select any other block, they don't have those components. So only this one has it. And here we have controller block 3. Unity created this automatically for us. If you press on it, then you will be brought to our animations folder and here you will see block 3. This icon means animator. And we also have happy block. This is name of our animation. We can also see name of our animation here. So if you press on this one, on this drop down, it will say, OK, you have happy block here, which is our compress compression animation. And you can also create a new clip. As soon as you start moving playhead here, you will notice that our record button is pressed again and our play button is red. This means that if you do any changes, then you need to be recorded. So you can see this is done by mistake because I did not disable a record button. Let's undo that. As you remember from previous lesson, we can 
apply changes to the prefab. So we can select this block three, hit apply. And now all our blocks have exactly the same animation. You can check that when you select them and then you will see that they all indeed have this animation. Let's do jumping building next. Let's select this one. And we actually have to move this short building cube. So let's do a little bit of rearrangement because this is obviously not very pretty pivot. Let's drag out cube. We will receive warning from Unity. Break prefab instance. Remember that when we delete elements, we will break prefab instance, but also if we rearrange the, in them in hierarchy, we will get this message. Hit continue. We grab this short building, make it child of cube, reset its position. Also can reset rotation, why not? And for why we want to keep it at minus 0 0.5 because this is half of our cube. Now let's drag it out. We will receive 0 here. Actually, let's reset this one. And let's parent cube to it again. Now when we select it, everything is good. So we can hit apply and all our cubes here as well are updated. Unity doesn't like when there are same names when you're trying to animate any objects. So as you can see, we have these two objects called short building, and this will be a problem. So let's call this one a jumping building. Let's make it to jump every quarter of second. Let's move playhead to the one quarter, and then move it a little bit here, and you will see immediately we've got jumping building position change. Let's put some precise number, like 0 0.3. Then let's go back to 0, 30, move it back to 0, 45, 0 0.3. And to get a similar swoop, return back to 0. So now our building is going to jump here. Let's play animation. Cool. We might want to add a little bit of rotation as well. Let's go to 0, and then let's go to 1. And to do a full rotation, let's add 360 on Y. Let's see how this looks. Okay, this looks all right. For precision, here is 180. Good. Now preview the whole thing.